Filtering is an essential part of working with data. Webex enables you to filter data by one or several criteria with built-in or custom filters. You can filter data on the client side, but also request filtered data from the server using the same filters. Webex offers various filter types. A built-in filter is set by the content property of a header footer line. The header is initialized like this. In the first line, we have the name of the column. In the second line, we define the filter name as the content value. Here's how you can add a simple text filter to a column. It is designed to work with text values. Filter input is a mask. To filter data that is stored on a server, use the server filter, which looks exactly like a text filter, but sends a request for filtered data. A single text filter can be used to filter data table by different columns at once. This can be done by defining a custom filtering function for the filter. For example, here's a function that searches over year and title fields of the data table for filter input. With the select filter, masks are limited to options of a drop-down list. This filter is based on a standard HTML select input. Like text filter, select filter also has a server-side variation named server select filter that sends a request to server to return filtered data set. Multi-select filter is a more complex version of select filter. It also gives a predefined list of masks, but you can select several masks at a time. Multi-combo filter is a combination of text and multi-select filters. You can type in a text field to find a suitable mask from the drop-down list and select several masks. If you want to filter data by dates, use the date picker filter. You can select a date in the pop-up calendar. Also, you can filter out data by date intervals. The date range filter opens a pop-up calendar where you can pick the first and the last date of the interval, or only the start date. Webex data table also has the filter method that provides fully custom filtering. With this method, you can filter data table with any input on the page instead of built-in filters. Find API is another handy feature that deals with filtering, but in a slightly different way. You can easily search for records using the data table Find API. Instead of filtering, it leaves all the records visible and returns an array of those records that match your criteria. You can highlight these records using the Add CSS method. Webex also offers Query Builder Filter. It is based on the Query Builder widget and allows for creating filtering rules of any complexity. For this filter, you need to define the dataset fields that will be used for filtering. You can add as many rules or groups of rules as you need. And that's how you can create filters for data records with Webex Data Table. For more details on all the filters, please read the article and documentation and check out code samples on webex.com. Your questions and ideas are always welcome. Leave us a comment below.